Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. We are going to discuss about a very famous from technique which is the RAG. So RAG stands for the Retrieval Augmented Generation. So RAG is a, a, a kind of a technique where we are just passing our relevant knowledge to the chat GPT to get the answer or to the LLM models to get the answer. Let me just uh, talk about that how the things work. What is the RAG? So now we are discussing about a technique which is the RAG. Uh, retrieval augmented generation so what we are doing is first of all rag technique is used for the your to perform the QA on customer custom data like for example, this is my one of the LLM models. I have a LLM model, like it can be a chat GPT, it can be a Llama, it can be a Falcon, all these things. So I just ask the question to the chat GPT that uh, what is the Lambda function in Python? And you you have seen, already have seen that chat GPT or any other LLM models can give the answer successfully. They can give the answer that okay, lambda function is a kind of anonymous function and this is the syntax of the lambda function. But now what I'm asking to the LLM model is that hey, uh, can you give me my Aadhaar card number? Can you give me the my Aadhaar card number? So definitely chat GPT or any LLM models will not be able to give the answer because they are not trained on your personal data. They are trained on a general purpose data. So now what I will do is, what I will do is I will now for the Aadhaar card question, what I will do is I will ask the question that what is my Aadhaar card? number uh, Aadhaar number and for this question I'm giving my personal information my personal information is my name my DOB my Aadhaar number my education detail and my company details so now if I pass this information and then ask these questions so I'm giving the two part. One is that what is my Aadhaar number. Along with these questions, I'm giving this context that please refer this context and give me the answer. Give me my Aadhaar number. So do you think that now Aadhaar, uh, now LLM models will able to give the answer? So the thing is like I want to perform the QA on my custom data. Like for example, I have a policy document. I have the SGFC Live policy document which contain the uh, user policy name, number, policy numbers, then personal details and all these things. Then we have the term conditions and all these things. Now I want to build a QA systems on this policy document or you can say that I want to ask the policy number, I want to ask the policy number and whatever the term and condition is applicable on my policy, I want to fetch these things. Now the question comes that, can I simply ask this question to the LLM model and will do you think that 
will LLM model will able to give me the my policy number? Yes, no, sir. right. So they don't have your your personal data basically. Then how they can find out? The main thing that I want to tell you here is that they don't have our personal data or the custom data on which I want to perform the QA. Agree? We don't have, so my chat GPT is trained on the general purpose data. It is not trained on my data. Just just imagine that you have okay. this document and this document is having around, uh, let me just check that how many, it, it, it contains 37 pages, correct? And I want to fetch out some, some term and conditions, some benefits, some death benefits. So there is a one thing is that I can do simple search on this entire page and find out that where is my death benefit is mentioned. Another thing is that I can expose this policy document to the LLM models or I can do some kind of a technique where if I pass my, my question, if I pass, if I just give this policy along with my question, my LLM model will give me the answer that what is your death benefit because it have the context it will search it will read entire 37 pages and tell me the answer of my questions that what is my death benefit so it will first uh, it will search where the death benefit related context is mentioned and then it will read it and then transform as per the uh, in, into into a simple sentence basically so now the thing is that I have this 37 pages. So there are the two things. One is that in the rag part, what the rag is saying, the rag is, uh, where is the, yeah. Rag is saying that the general purpose large language models can be fine tuned to achieve the several common tasks such as sentiment analysis and NER things, named entity recognition. But for the more complex task and the knowledge intensive task, it is possible to build a large language model system that can access the external knowledge source to complete the task. When I ask the questions that what is my policy number, so definitely it needs some extra knowledge. It needs the extra knowledge of my policy documents. So what we are doing is that when we are building a such kind of a model, we are building a such kind of a model where we need the extra knowledge. So what are we are going to do is in this retrieval augmented generation, we address the such knowledge intensive task. RAG combine the information retrieval component with a text generation model. So now the thing is, in the RAG part, in the RAG systems, I am not doing the fine tuning. Fine tuning means that I am changing the parameter of my LLM models. I'm not doing any retraining of the model in the rag. Fine tuning means that you have the data, you, you retrain the model or you retrain the some parameter of your models. So this is mainly the fine tuning part. If you see these things in the rag, we are not doing any fine tuning. What I'm doing is I am just passing a my knowledge base. I am passing a my knowledge base to my LLM models along with my questions. So the advantage is that again, I want to build a, I want to build a custom QA, QA uh, custom QA system. I want to build a custom QA system. I implemented these things in my current organization what happened is they have they have uh, they have the loan agreement they have the loan agreement they have around 100 loan agreement yes. two parts one okay. is the reg and another is the fine tuning so fine tuning of llm model fine tuning of llm models need cluster of gpus cluster of gpus and hours of training. Okay? But in the RAG, 
we don't need any kind of a things because fine tuning my model is 6 GB model and it is very very huge model so to to even to keep this 6 GB you need a very GPU based machine first of all and then when you start doing the fine tuning then you need a uh, at least at least four to five GPU machine in the cluster manner to train the your model on your custom data then again the problem is that for example now you build this model and then maybe the client requirement is changed then you were waste or you were all the training things will be wasted so my question is that my question was that I want to perform the QA on my policy documents. So one thing is pretty clear here that my LLM model cannot do these things. Means uh, if I simply ask the questions, I can I cannot get my policy document and my death benefits. This part is clear. Yes. Yeah. Right. So the second solution is the second solution is that I what I can do is I can pass my questions that what is my death benefit what is my death benefit mentioned in my policy what is the, what is the death benefit mentioned in policy so when I ask this question to the LLM models definitely LLM models cannot give the answer the second solution is the second solution is that along with these questions if I pass my knowledge all my policy document text data policy document text data it will give the answer because I'm just mentioning my LLM to search in my policy document text data not from the don't, don't use your own search don't use your own on custom search use my this information which is around 37 pages which is around like one page let's take the one page and just from this one page can you please tell me that what is my uh, death benefits it will give the answer because this is the one of the prompt technique where we are passing the context and get the answer this will also work correct thanks for watching the video for full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.